Hello everybody, it's 53 Plays, and welcome back to the Emperor's New Groove on the PlayStation. We are now going to Chapter 3 of the Catacombs, and if you look at that photo right there, you can tell that we are getting at another... Cusco, line up with the corners, and I'll bet they'll automatically turn us around! Roller coaster level, that's right. That first one was not the only time we we're going to have to be encountering this kind of level. So, let's see if we can not screw up getting all the coins this time. And let's see if we can actually get all the coins this time. So this is the same old procedure. It gets uh, trickier this time. Because, as is normal in video games, the further you get into a level, the trickier it gets. So let's, let's go this way. Alright. And yes, we do have some instances where a reverse pad... Oh, we missed a coin! Time to commit suicide. So yeah, if I do miss a coin clearly this time, then I'm just going to commit suicide, and then we'll meet you back where I missed that coin. So, fast forward time! Okay, now moving on, we have this area right here, with some more spring pads, and some holes by our corner direction changing things there. Our corners there. Alright, so we have some boosters here, so it's going to get a lot trickier this time. You, can see, you saw some uh, reverse pads here. Oh, darn it. Okay, we're almost done here. We have 40 coins to collect in this chapter. Also, if you've noticed, um, we have kind of a remix of that one uh, song that was in the river. Okay, it should be almost done here. I think I got this. Oh gosh, wow. Yeah, that was really fast. It's been five and a half years, so here we go. And there we go! We've 100% this level! Booyah! Wow. Yeah, so when you're going fast in that kind of coaster, things to, things do get turned up to 11. So, thankfully no secrets, so we can go ahead and save. And now we get to Chapter 4. Also, look at that mural of Yzma. I do say that looks pretty gorgeous. Much better than the one that was in the city, you know, because this is all like a concrete slab. Anyways, we go to Chapter 4 here, and you can see there's a Novomador, so we're going to be transformed into another animal in this chapter, and there's Pacha over there. We have 100 coins again in this chapter, so let's go ahead and see what this chapter has in store for us. There's also a coaster door, so yes, you can imagine that we're going to be going into one of those roller coasters again. Alright, so now here we are at the beginning of the level. We can talk to Pacha one more time. Wow, we really got those roller coasters beat. We? Ha! I'm the one who was steering. Well, uh, I think we should rest. But you can, Pacha, but not us. Oh, here we go again. 
You stay here, and I'll save the day. You'll only slow me down, big boy. Okay, ha, huh, look at that. Potch is actually, uh, getting some exercise there. Yeah, uh, just... Okay, so that's that same thing. Okay, so let's see. Let's look around here. I think we ha might have another bat here. Hmm. Yes, we do. And we got that right at the beginning. Bullseye. Okay, so if you look around here, we've got this kind of... you got these kind of faraway platforms again. Let's not let's step on this one. Uh, let's not step on this quite yet. Let's, let's explore this area first. So, as you can see, we have this uh, path, kind of path again. And we have these platforms that we saw at that last puzzle in the... In the uh, actually, two chapters ago. So, we got some coins here. Also, we have a pendulum there. So, let's just go ahead and collect all these coins first, and then we will move on. So, oh, yeah. wow. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Okay, here we go. And long jump. Hey, we got the coin. Excellent. Lamak, out of my way! Out of my way. Okay, so let's get these coins up here. There might be a bat flying around, so let's go ahead and check for let's one second. Let's have a look see. Aha, uh -huh, there is. Yes, if you're 100% in this level, you want to make sure that you double check and see if there aren't any bats flying up right above you. So, let's see. Let's see. Get right there. Oh, should have been a little bit further back. Oh well. Okay, wait for it. Did we get that? No, we didn't. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now that we've gotten that coin, we can go ahead and see what's over here. So here is our node llama door mm. here. We're going to be dealing with this in just a second, but first, let's go over Check to this point. side and look at this secret right here. Now, this is kind of a let's variation of the stepping on platforms kind of secret. You can see that whenever you step on one of these platforms, they sink and it kind of raises the others at the same time. So what we want to do is start from the beginning and then step on here and then we're going to have to backtrack all the way this way. So this is actually a pretty clever kind of secret. I like this secret here. So you want it to be going back, so you're just going to be going back and forth here and collecting coins. Gold coins, regular coins, also avoiding that skull pendulum that you saw. So it looks like we have a couple more gold coins, and then I think our Wampy might be up here as well. Okay. Wait for it. And is there a Wampy up here? I do not see one, although we should probably double check. It never hurts to double check. Okay, don't see one, so I think this is it. Alright, so I believe this is it. There's no Wampy in here, so let's go ahead and go back out. If a Wampy is there, I will go back and show it if I missed it. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so yeah, if there is a Wampy there, I'll go ahead and show where it is, if it's in there. But I don't think it is. So let's go ahead and head back to the beginning here. And just to double check, is there any bats up here? No. Okay, so now here is where the fun begins for this chapter. If we step on this switch here, uh, that's better. It unveils this potion all the way at the other side. So, here we go. <laughs> wow. And of course I jump. <laughs> I fall out right at that first jump. Okay, so I'll meet you back at the beginning. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again with more effort. Out of my way. All right, and we get turned into I'm a bunny. A bunny rabbit. That's Check. right. Hey, do bunnies really jump by holding down their jump button? 
You know, what I'm what I'm wondering is why are you asking us this when instead you could just be telling us? <laughs> Tipo, you have the intelligence of a snail. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Yeah, Cusco's a badass for sure. Anyways, um, as, she, as he was explaining... Can you hover yet? I can hover, but I lost my jump button. You eat a lot of sugar, don't you, kid? Did you know this place is supposed to be haunted? Ooh, haunted, huh? What, by useless peasants? No, by a ghost. A ghost? Uh, yeah, right. You know, kid, I think it's you who needs the help. <laughs> Well, the question is, do you believe in ghosts? Okay, so after all that explaining, we get turned into a bunny. That's right. Let's have a look, see. You can't have a game without bunnies. So, yes, if we press the X button down, you can see that we have a blue meter up there, and that's our hop meter, because, you know, bunnies hop. So if you, if you hold it down and then release it when it reaches all the way at the end, you do a huge hop, but if you just tap it like that, you do a really small hop. Okay, come on. And if you hold down the X button, then you kind of turn into a little helicopter, and you, uh, you spiral back down to the ground. So there's a, quite a few bunch of coins here that we can collect here with our newfound abilities here. And if we can look in a first perspective, you can see that there's a whole bunch of yzmas on the walls. Yeah, <laughs> yuck. And you can see there's a whole bunch of coins up there. So this is pretty. Uh, this is a pretty unique form of platforming, except um, this is bunny platforming. You could say that this is bunny platforming. I wonder if that term even exists. Bunny platforming. Um, but yeah, here we just have a whole bunch of coins to collect. Oh, wait, did we get all those? Hmm. I think we did, yeah. Also some new music, a new little motif for our bunny transformation. So if we go through this door here, okay, 59 out of 100, if we go through this door we can see that, uh oh, he was right, we do have a ghost. Oy vey, where is it? Oh my gosh, right there. Get away Cusco, run away! Alright, enough uh, melodrama. We have, um, that yellow hair that you just saw. Um, let's go up here first. Okay, so yeah. We have these yellow carrots here, and we're, what we're supposed to do is to col we're, what we're Sorry, what we're supposed to do is... Pardon my stuttering. What we're supposed to do is collect these yellow carrots. And we have to do that to get a tally to open a door, which is up at the top of the level here. Of the area, I should say. Not the level of the area. And we have to do that all while avoiding that scary block ghost, which, you know, we killed earlier, you know, because we angered those kid blocks, and so we just have to, you know, collect all the carrots and avoid it. So, let's see, I think we can do a big jump here. Yes, we can. You can see that there's our door right here, and we have to have um, 14 carrots to unlock it, so we have to try to get all these carrots. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, so this is going to take quite a few tries because these carrots are kind of aligned in a certain pattern there. Also, you can hear that ghost moan. Ooh, ooh. You can kind of faintly hear that. So, we have three more to collect. So, let's see. Can we do it right here? Oh, come on. Okay, we're going to have to go on this platform. Okay. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Death perception. I blame that. Okay. There we go. So now we have all 14 carrots, so we need to just go up to the top of the level here, the area here, and go on to the door. I will apologize if I if I can't come up with any clever commentary. It's kind of a little tricky to do this live in AdLib, and I'm not particularly good at that. So we can say goodbye to this <laughs> this really eerie ghost here. God, that's a freaky smile there. Okay, goodbye.
I just had to do that. Couldn't resist. Yo, Pacha, my man. Pacha, my man. What's up? Ah, demon bunny. Okay, now he thinks. <laughs> Enough with the schizophrenia. It's us, Kuz. It's us, Pacha. It's Cusco. No, oh, not this again. Pacha, it's me, you big lummox. Wow, Cusco. You look funny. <laughs> me? Funny? Funny how? What, like a clown? Like like I'm here to amuse you? Is that it? Huh? Okay, fortunately that, that glitch was kicking in, but it didn't cut the sound off. But yeah. Uh, anyways. No, no, no. I just meant, well, uh... Well, how did I get here anyway? You got here by standing on a platform with balloons on it, like Carl Fredrickson would, and you flew way above the level, and you found unicorns, and you just had the time of your life. And you landed with a bang in this area, and you, yet you were unscathed. I mean, judging by your size, you probably ate your way through a wall. Come on, let's find Yzma. All right, so yeah, we have the switch here, and we have to we have to uh, actually not touch that. You don't want to touch that potion first of all, because you can see that there are some coins up there. If you do touch that potion, you will not be able to get those coins and go up to that little door there. So what we have to do is avoid that potion and then get these coins and go up to the store here. So first off, let's go through the door here. Checkpoint. And then as a bunny, we have these kind of, we have this kind of cool puzzle here. And then, okay. You can see up there is our Wompy, so let's go ahead and fly up here. Hmm. Okay. Wompy. This time we got that wompy sound. We didn't as a frog, but we did as a bunny, which is kind of odd. Also, we get the same music in that one uh, mountain puzzle. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, I I really don't know if a platform is supposed to appear there, but we're gonna fall to our time our uh, timely death. And yippee, we get to go back to the beginning of the level. Yeah, I wasn't really sure if there was supposed to be a platform there, but um, we're just going to ignore that and land right here and get the self closure. And we're here we are back at the level here. Okay, so we can go ahead and get these coins right here. Okay. Okay, I really hope we're not missing something. Okay, really hope we're not missing something here. You know what, let's go back to this door and see if we're not see if we didn't miss anything. Let's have a look. Oh my god, that ghost. Wow. Oh, we're stuck in here. Oh well. Okay, so we mu I think we're missing uh, three gold coins, but let's see if I miss them. Let's have a look. Oh, there's one. Okay, I didn't even see that. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and go all the way back up here. I, I will mention actually that this is the second to last level in the game. So we have one more level after the catacombs, and then we will be at the end game. Okay, so it's all the way over there. Okay, is there any up here? Oh, there's one. Okay, then we have one way over there. Oh gosh, wow. 
There we go. Okay, um, it looks like I'm missing a gold coin, so... Oh, I hope... Oh, what's up here? Oh, nothing. Let's have oh, can I not go this way? Huh. Look, an invisible wall. Interesting. Okay, alright, well... Alright, um... We're gonna have to touch the potion. I can't find this last uh, gold coin, so... We will not 100% this level. Too bad. So... If we touch this potion... We get turned back into our old self, so... Let's go ahead and get this pot here. We have this pot here we have to uh, get, and then we have to put on this pad, this uh, switch here. All right, and that's the end of the level. All right, so we didn't get, we didn't 100 percent. Okay, there was one more secret, so I'll have to come back and get that secret um, later. So let's go ahead and save, and then we're going to get our last chapter of the catacombs here. And yes, it is a roller coaster level. Yes, we have two regular levels, two chapters, two regular chapters, and then Cusco, this last roller coaster the level right here. Automatically turn us around. So 50 coins this time. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, right away. Yeah. Quite a few coins there. Oh, come on, really? There we go, finally. Yeah, you want to stay away from that spring pad there. We're up to 16 coins right now, so... Let's keep riding the roller coaster of doom here. 19, no, 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 19. In 1965, Vietnam was a, uh, something. And of course, I gotta commit suicide. Yeah. Reverse, 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 reverse. Cha cha now, y'all. Turn it up to the left. Ah, uh, missed the wampy. Darn it. Now we're back on track. Oh gosh, going so fast! It's going so fast! And 50 coins. Wow. So after a whole bunch of attempts, we have 100% of this this heck of a level. This heck of a roller coaster. Gotten that wampy, no secrets, gotten 50 coins, and whoo! Wow. I'm out of breath after that. And this is the lab. 
our final level of the game. But before we go to the lab, I'm going to have to go back and get all the coins in Chapter 4 and Chapter 1. Oh gosh, Chapter 1, really? All the way at the beginning. Uh, but, you know, if we're going to do a 100% walkthrough, I have to do it. So, until the next part where we go to the lab, this is... Sorry, lab. I think I said lab. Lab. Actually, as Dexter, as Dexter would say, laboratory. <laughs> This is 53 Plays saying have a good day, and I will see you in the laboratory. Goodbye.